So you can see here, there's mildew and there's mold on this drywall. I was redoing this room, which is in the basement, and I stripped everything down to the studs in this room to discover a nasty little secret here. So we're gonna be dealing with this using a mold armor. When you're encountering mold, you might just be tempted to just use plain old soap and water to wash the mold down and think that you're gonna be okay. And this will initially solve your problem. It's important to use a disinfectant that's specifically designed to target mold because mold will tunnel down into surfaces. So even though it looks like you're wiping down the surface mold that you can see with your eyes, there are mold spores that are living within those porous structures that you need to use a disinfectant for. Now this product is intended to be used at full concentration, so there's no need to dilute it. Now I know this stuff's expensive, but don't try to chintz on it because you want that mold dealt with. I recommend using an old rag that you're just gonna throw away when you're done. And you're gonna wanna wear gloves. This stuff can irritate your skin, and I'm using an eight millimeter thickness glove that's rated to deal with chemicals. So the first surface we're gonna be dealing with is this drywall. That's right, and I'm gonna wring out as much as I can. I've got some electrical down there, so I wanna be careful with the moisture. Turn off the electrical if you're really concerned with it. We're just gonna scrub. you have studs, two by fours, or wood, especially if it's not treated, you can apply it right here. If it's treated or if it's stained, the mold can be a little bit more difficult to get out. Now, if you have mold, you also have a moisture problem and applying this chemical to the mold is going to help to kill it and prevent it from returning. But if you don't deal with the overall moisture problem, then you're still going to have problems with mold. So what I have done since discovering mold is I've purchased a dehumidifier and I keep my humidity in my basement at 45% or below, which is really going to discourage further growth of mold. And don't be afraid to use this on surfaces that are going to be visible, such as your door. You notice there is a little bit of mold here. I'm just going to go ahead and treat the whole door. to do a concrete floor is a deck brush. Just brush it off. And there's no need to really vigorously scrub. Just a simple application is going to be more than enough to take care of any mold spores that have found their way onto the floor. I used one entire gallon of mold armor to treat all four walls and the floor of this eight by 11 square foot room. I've got links in the description where you guys can pick up some mold armor and get to work. And also, if you're wanting to know the humidifier that I use to completely rectify the mold problem in my basement, I've included it in the description below. It is a top-notch humidifier. Till next time, guys. See you on the next one.